Hello and welcome to one of the things I do from time to time when it comes to comics or ads from comics or whatever. Now this is no set particular date or anything like that but these are TV shows that appeared on like Fox Kids, Fox Family and, and all that sort of stuff. So cartoons of the 90s, mostly the 90s and the 2000s and um, yeah so hopefully you enjoy them because here they are. Okay, from November 1994. I don't know if you could probably do this now. I, then again. There she is, sitting on a desk with her sort of Angelina Jolie kind of look happening there. But it does tell us that the woman of their dreams is virtual reality which would probably explain why it looks like there's been a bit of a cut and paste job with her sitting on the desk there. But the look on the faces of those, it, it, that could only be 1994 with those clothes and that hair and all that sort of stuff. And let us not forget the computer with its discs. <laughs> so you've got a 1994 style computer with those Five inch floppy disks. Oh, these days that sounds a bit dodgy, especially with her legs being so close to them. No, note that you can't see the brand name. Maybe that's why they're there. They've got a PC genie who can get them anything they want. Well, the PC these days would stand for politically correct. Oh, well, if it's a politically correct genie, oh, she wouldn't be wearing those coloured shoes. No, they'd be red these days. Um, now we've got some of the cartoons. What have we got? Superhero, Marvel superheroes. Good grief, that's kind of buried in the background. Isn't it? You've got Iron Man, Fantastic Four. And why do I read these when it's so blatantly obvious that they're there? Well, I just like the sound of my own voice. No. So you've got these cartoons. So check... Oh, my Gone. Good grief, the illustrations aren't very well. Uh, the illustrations aren't very good, are they? That's from March 1998. Oh, what do you say to that? Next. And from June 1998, a little bit from Fox Kids, The Power Rangers in Space. Hmm. Every Friday? You mean. 52 weeks of the year. Kind of looks like Space Ghost in the top right corner. Until you zoom in. And it just looks like some cheap $6 plane. Mind you, $6 would have been quite expensive for that then. Probably. Well, 22 years ago. But yes, the put the white glove up. You've got to stop when you see that white glove. Because you might get it dirty. What if it's microfiber? Next, from July 1996, apparently this was really happening. Johnny Crest. Johnny Crest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's when you get the bald eagles involved. <laughs> and they probably need a hairpiece as a result. Johnny Crest. Oh my god. Well, I could have, it could have been worse. I could have spoonerized and it could have been <laughs> Quanny Jest. We are cartoons, apparently. Oh, you would never have guessed from that. It's just so real life with that elephant rhinoceros -y thing, whatever it's supposed to be. Looking at those hands, he'd probably better snip his fingernails. Ah, and that windscreen wiper couldn't be any worse position, could it? Oh, and as for the sinister look of the driver, ew. From Fox Family, 25 Days of Christmas. Hmm, I can only see four there. So for the 25 Days of Christmas, you, it looks like you've got three Christmas... Did they kind of break them down to spill it over the 25 days or something 
Yeah, it looks like she's choking that poor animal. Oh no, we've we've got more here. Again, from February 2000, that's the date of the comic. We've got more shows. Hang on a sec. Oh no, it's the same. <laughs> oh. Got my hopes up a little bit there. Just different photos. Oh well. Could that be any cheesy... Oh no, we've got Richie Rich's Christmas Wish. Good grief, what a terrible... Oh my god. From the Cartoon Network, we've got <clears throat> Cow and Chicken. Yeah. Well, it was different. So one of those world premiere tunes are. 48 original, never-before-seen cartoons. Well, I guess just as long as it's nothing to do with Fritz the Cat, I guess they'd be fairly safe. Wow. He's actually got a lot of room for a nose ring, too. But then he'd probably rather prefer mood rings. <laughs> so that was February 1996. Oh, so we've gone from the 25 days of Christmas to the 13 days of Halloween. Oh my god, the big wolf on campus looks like a badly made up John Travolta. Oh dear. It's December 1999 for you. Oh, that would certainly make the 13 days go really slow. Well, oh, another one for the 13 days of Halloween. Oh, at least we're spared that John Travolta thing. No, instead we've got some weird... Oh, it's a pumpkin. Watch it if you dare. <laughs> So, so there'd be all these bets. Like, are you going to watch Fox Family? Uh, the 13 Days of Halloween? Ah, oh, I can't miss it. But I'll be at school. Yeah, there's, there'll be so many people that would be watching this thing. Especially on the left-hand corner there, on Lurch's shoulder. That's definitely a thing they'll be watching. Another one from the children's things. What on earth is this? From December 1996, we've got more bad cartoon caricatures. Yeah, you've got to have those thumbs up. That's that's the prerequisite, isn't it? Thumbs up. And you have the roll of the dice and you think, Oh, I wonder if I'll get a pair. And I think the pair are down in the bottom right corner, actually. <laughs> so every Sunday morning, oh, well, you have the option of Watching that or going to church? Mm -hmm. Could there be a third option of reading? Oh, God. From December 1997, we've got the back-to-back -back power pack. Hmm. I was expecting something a little bit bigger than that. Oh, my God. Look at the costume on She-Hulk. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't think you'd see them that buxom these days. Either that, or she's trying to compete with the chest that the old Hulk has. So she's trying to be an Incredible Hulk in other ways. Good grief, all those caricatures. The guy and the gal look really creepy. Was that a thing in the late 90s? Let's just have all our caricatures looking really creepy. Like they sort of hide in the back stalls of somewhere or something. They just kind of drag them out. And... Mm. Or Jumanji is certainly horny. Oh dear, saving the best till last. Not truly, this is the best. No, it's not. It was just the last one I could come up with. Uh, so, S Club 7 in LA. Well, LA must have been closed for the day. Come on, S Club 7 are coming. Eek! But good grief, could that be any more cheesy if they tried? I must admit, it doesn't sound right when you say turn up the cheese to vintage when you look at this crowd. Maybe with the combined ages you might just get there. I love how they seem to have the token everyone in this too. <laughs> ah, well, once again, oh, that's August 2000. They clicked into the new millennium with this. Well, there we go. Back to me, I think. I hope you enjoy that.
probably one of my most sarcastic reviews, actually. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. After the Incredible Hulk and everything, I, back to me. It was anything but. I don't think I'd like that skin tone, though. No. That would be a bit disturbing. It would be a case of, uh, I think you need a bit of a visit to a hospital. <laughs> anyway, regardless of all that waffle, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, there's probably more that are going to be like that. The comics are an, uh, an endless bounty of things that I can share while waving my hands around. All right. I'm going to toddle off now after embarrassing myself. Oh, hang on. That's nothing unusual. So I'll just toddle off and hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please do all the likes and subscribes and the bells and the whistles and all of that sort of thing. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. All right. Please take care of yourself. Okie dokies. Ciao.